what is this message? Oh. Yeah, man, right? Jerry song. Conor McGregor's debut movie Roadhouse definitely hits a little harder than that jab we just saw. But there is a hidden twist in this movie that a lot of people have missed. In the final fight scene, McGregor's character, known as Knox, loses the battle against former UFC fighter Edward Dalton, played by Jake Gyllenhaal. He appears to suffer a very painful death. However, just like in the Marvel movies, anyone who waited until after the credits rolled were treated to this extra scene which offered a shocking hidden twist. A hint of the Billy strut about that walk, don't you think? Let all your fellow McGregor fan friends know that Knox is alive! Could we see a sequel where Knox goes head to head against Dalton inside the octagon? Our own little octagon! What? Who taught you shapes? A sequel seems a no brainer with Amazon recently revealing that the movie has clocked 50 million plus viewers over the first two weekends, making it the most viewed movie the studio has ever produced. Jake and Connor both strongly hinted that this will happen in a recent GQ interview. And I, I always said, like people would ask, I'm like, will I do it again? I said, wait till, wait till the movie comes out and let me see how I feel about it and, and then I'll go from there. I'd love to work with him again and there are a lot of cool ideas. Yeah. So. I guess you're not afraid of getting hit by a real UFC fighter, huh Jake? While promoting the movie, Gyllenhaal revealed that Connor accidentally struck him during filming. It was late because we shot a lot of these fight scenes at night, so it was like 3 a.m. We would do a take where we were like fighting and fake fighting and fake fighting, and then we'd go watch the monitor to see it back to see what worked. And he was always great with me. He would show me, tell me to do things and like, oh, you know, turn your hand, move a little bit more this way to try and make it look more real. And he was talking to me really close, and he's like, yeah, so like that left hook looks good, but then when you do it, like, boom, like that, and it hit me by mistake. Like it was almost like, and, and I, like, I was like, who? And he's I'm like, bleeding. who? <laughs> I'm bleeding. I'm an actor. And I, by mistake, then slammed his face with a, with a car door. Uh, and he was like, he just, he was like, that's like funny. legit, like hit his face. He was like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, that, that tickled me. Looks like I fucked up your leg. You're a shit driver. Long side of the road. Critics, fight fans, and even professional MMA fighters have been praising the realistic fight scenes in the movie. But what about the acting overall? Could Conor McGregor be about to win an Oscar? Let's just have fun and imagine that for a second. Here are the outstanding nominees for performance by an actor in a leading role. Conor McGregor, Roadhouse. And the Oscar goes to... Conor McGregor. Listen, thanks everyone for coming out. I love everyone here, I swear to God. He's traveled the world with me. They're not on my level. Unfortunately, this isn't possible no matter how good Connor or Jake performed in this movie. That's because only movies that were given a theatrical release can be considered for the Oscars. Director Doug Lyman voiced his frustration at Amazon deciding not to show the movie in theaters. We made a great movie and they decided not to support cinemas, funding the delivery of toasters on Amazon instead. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see the entire clip of Connor winning the Oscar, it's over on our channel, and it's hilarious. Please subscribe for more content.